Melania Trump has been the subject of intense media coverage ever since her husband started campaigning for the presidency, especially when it comes to her clothes. What outfits should the first lady have reconsidered? Wonder no more. Here are some of the most inappropriate outfits ever worn by Melania Trump. Talk about a price tag that makes our eyes pop out of our heads. After arriving in Sicily to attend the G7 summit in 2017, Melania shocked the world with her jacket of choice, a floral embroidered look from designer Dolce & Gabbana. The actual jacket itself looked beautiful and the ensemble was very sleek, so what was inappropriate about it? The cost. As was noted by the New York Times, the jacket set the first lady back $51,500. Yes, you heard that correctly. The jacket described as having a 3D flower kind of look wasn't even available in stores when the first lady wore it to the summit. At least not for anyone we'd call a casual shopper. If you wanted to snag the jacket while it was available, you had to put down a cool deposit of $25,750. Don't mind us while we hyperventilate just thinking about it. Melania finished the look with a column dress, heels, and a purse valued at $1,630. Just to put the price in perspective, the average teacher's yearly salary in the United States is less than $60,000. Melania Trump has caught some flack for a number of her appearances, but few were as controversial as her outfit choices while on a trip to Africa. The First Lady stopped in Ghana, Malawi, Kenya, and Egypt, traveling with the United States Agency for International Development. But regardless of her reasons for being there, it was her colonial pith helmet and safari-inspired style that caught international attention. For one leg of her trip, in Egypt, Melania opted for a cream-colored suit with a white shirt, a black tie, and a fetching white fedora that drew comparisons to everything from out of Africa to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Almost regretted. But that wasn't all Melania packed for this trip that caught people's eyes. During a safari tour in Kenya, she made the unfortunate decision to wear a hat with a striking resemblance to a white pith helmet, widely taken as a symbol for colonial exploitation of Africa during the 19th and 20th centuries. It was widely regarded as a poor choice at best, and Melania was criticized for being either completely unaware of the look's historical implications, or for not seeing her suggestive outfit choices as a big deal at all. I wish people would focus on what I do, not what I wear. It was the jacket seen around the world, and the outfit choice that landed Melania Trump in some hot water. While traveling to McAllen, Texas in June 2018 to visit people impacted by President Donald Trump's family separation policy, the First Lady opted for an army green jacket from Zara that had, I really don't care, do you? written on the back in big white letters. As noted by CNN, the look caused an uproar very quickly and forced Melania Trump to backpedal. The backlash got so intense that her spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham, jumped onto the scene to clarify the First Lady's choice with a statement that read, quote, It's a jacket. There was no hidden message. She then took to Twitter to reaffirm that the jacket had no hidden meaning, writing, Today's visit with the children in Texas impacted the First Lady greatly. If media would spend their time and energy on her actions and efforts to help kids, rather than speculate and focus on her wardrobe, we could get so much accomplished on behalf of children. Hashtag she cares. Hashtag it's just a jacket. Hidden message or not, it was probably not the most appropriate choice on the first lady's part. Months later, she said on CNN that the jacket was a message to the quote, left-wing media who are criticizing me. And I want to show them that I don't care. You could criticize whatever you want to say, but it will not stop me to do what I feel it's right. First ladies are known for choosing important social causes to champion. Melania Trump's predecessor, Michelle Obama, focused on providing healthy meals to children and established the White House's vegetable garden. In perhaps a show of political friendship, Melania Trump kept the garden operating after Obama's time as First Lady came to an end. But after a photo op in September 2017, she came under some serious fire for what some called a less-than-appropriate gardening outfit. 
As noted by CNN, the First Lady hosted a group of 10 kids from DC's Boys and Girls Club of America for a harvesting event. But it was her outfit that received attention. Melania opted for a Balmain plaid shirt that cost over $1,000 and paired it with a pair of Converse sneakers that were out of the box clean. The internet was quick to point out the out of touch outfit option. One thing is clear, stick to your grubby shorts and overused sneakers while playing in the dirt. Melania hit the White House garden in August 2018 to help plant an Eisenhower-era oak tree sapling. But again, it was her outfit that stole the show. And not for the right reasons. Instead of opting for flats to avoid sinking into the ground and a pair of jeans she wouldn't mind getting dirty, Melania wore a $4,000 floral skirt from Valentino and finished the look with a pair of 4-inch Christian Louboutin stiletto heels, which easily would have cost her $745. The whole outfit felt out of touch, especially when she showed off her gold-colored ceremonial shovel. Melania Trump is a fan of stilettos, but like most things, the expense of pumps have a time and a place. But that doesn't seem to be a sentiment that the First Lady shares because she opted for a pair of high, pencil-thin heels while traveling to the areas devastated by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. The First Lady is most often seen in heels, but her footwear choice while visiting a region that had gotten 30 inches of rain was not taken by most critics as an appropriate option. She paired the footwear with an outfit that honestly would have fit the bill if she had been wearing a pair of sturdy boots. The first lady must have gotten the memo that her shoes were not a celebrated look because she changed while on her way into a pair of far more sensible shoes and a baseball cap. All eyes were on the Trumps during the 2020 Republican National Convention, and although the night gave us one of the most awkward Melania Trump moments, it also gave us another inappropriate outfit. As noted by GQ, Melania opted for an army green-colored military jacket that featured an edgy, dynamic silhouette and a matching pencil skirt. The look was from designer Alexander McQueen's Resort 2020 collection, and the jacket alone set the First Lady back $2,450. But the large price tag wasn't the aspect of the look that was deemed inappropriate. It was Melania's choice to wear a design indicative of the military-style looks often rocked by dictators. As noted by The Cut, the designer outfit would have probably not been a big deal if anyone else had worn it, but Melania Trump's choice to wear such a look while standing at a podium situated in front of a line of American flags was an optic that didn't look great. While speaking to the United Nations General Assembly about cyberbullying, Melania Trump brought up the topic of children's hunger across the world. No child should ever feel hungry, stalked, frightened, terrorized, bullied, isolated, or afraid, with nowhere to turn. We must teach each child the values of empathy and communication that are at the core of the kindness, mindfulness, integrity, and leadership which can only be taught by example. Sound advice, but people were quick to point out the First Lady's hypocrisy. For the event, Melania chose a $2,950 fuchsia pink dress from designer Del Pozo. So while speaking about childhood hunger, the outfit made her look completely out of touch. One of the aspects of her husband's presidency that has worked against Melania Trump's style has been his America First approach. That has limited the first lady in the designer labels she has worn, and that sentiment was on full display during the French president's visit to the White House. As noted by Glamour, Melania Trump opted for an Hervé Pierre skirt suit in a bold, crisp white and topped off the look with an internet-breaking white hat. From the moment that pictures of the head-turning look made it to Twitter and to critics, public opinion was divided down the middle. The Washington Post reported that the outfit option, given that Pierre was a freshly minted American citizen, was a display of diplomatic symbolism. But the Boston Herald rejected the look, saying that it evoked Europe roots, not America first. No matter the political sentiments associated with the ensemble, Twitter pointed out more light-hearted comparisons. One Twitter user wrote, Why is she out here looking like Carmen Sandiego playing Beyonce in the Formation video? Others pointed to a similarity between Melania and Jude Law's character from The Young Pope. Lesson from all of this? Keep your headwear simple. The First Lady's choice of leather leggings for an outing in December 2018 caused a notable stir, not because of the slim fit or the silhouette, but because the leggings were so close to her skin color that it looked like she wasn't wearing pants at all. 
At first glance, it appeared as though Melania was walking hand in hand with her husband while wearing only a green mini dress. A bold option considering that it was winter at the time in Washington, D.C. But at a closer look, commentators realized that she was wearing a pair of tan leather leggings. The illusion, however, fooled a lot of people on the internet. Melania Trump is responsible for the White House Christmas decorations, and her outfit during the 2019 unveiling did not please one critic, specifically the coat she wore over her shoulders during the big reveal. Robin Gavon, critic at large for The Washington Post, shared her thoughts on what she described as Melania's inappropriate look and pointed to a sense of disconnect between the First Lady and the public. Gavon wrote, The coat looks ridiculous, but more than a silly fashion fully, the coat is a distraction. It's a discomforting affectation taken to a ludicrous extreme. In a video that is intended to celebrate the warmth and welcoming spirit of the holiday season, that simple flourish exudes cold, dismissive aloofness. Gavon was onto something because it was revealed in October 2020 that Melania had some choice words about being responsible for the White House's Christmas look. I'm working like a Ask my ass I know. That Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration, but I need to do it, right? Melania Trump's fashion choices caused a stir from the beginning of her time as First Lady, and her outfit option for the official White House portrait was not hailed as an appropriate one. Melania opted for a sharp, well-fitted black blazer and soft makeup for the shoot. But what captured the negative attention was her choice to wear her $3 million 25-carat diamond ring as a part of her official portrait. Wow, that's expensive. Donald Trump gifted the ring to his wife for their 10th anniversary, and it was the price that put critics in a bind. Many said that it was inappropriate for the First Lady to wear such a ring that could pay for programs that the president planned on cutting in his proposed federal budget, like Meals on Wheels and other social programs. But Melania Trump wasn't the only First Lady to be criticized for her White House portrait. Michelle Obama came under serious fire for opting for a sleeveless dress while posing for her photo, so it looks like like perhaps no first lady is going to please everyone. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about high-profile fashion faux pas are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.